Hello Cancer, it's Melody from Lee's Witch here and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 2nd through the 9th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for the like, share, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you would like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on for the Cancer? Cancer, Cancer. Cancer love reading, October 2nd through 9th, 2017. Cancer love reading, October 2nd through 9th, 2017. So it seems like... um. In some situations, somebody might be like emotionally exhausted and then in others, it seems like it's a give and take thing, like it's a bunch of sharing and caring going on, okay? All right, cancer, 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 cancer love reading, October 2nd through 9th, 2017. 2nd through 9th, 2017. Okay, so it seems like somebody is in and out and they're waiting for somebody to come back. Okay, but it seems like somebody is getting out of their head about the situation. Somebody is just not like being emotionally... I'm going to say drain because of the card from earlier. All right. So it seems like. Hmm. It seems like someone was leaving and coming back. But I feel like it's because. um, I'm, I'm feeling like somebody left. They haven't came back yet, but they're going to come back. And it's because they got out of their head about this arrogant situation. I feel like somebody was being real mean and nasty. And then by you leaving, it's going to bring this person back down to reality. Like, come back down to earth, okay? All right, Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. This could be the other way around, too. It's a general reading. All right, what's going on with the Cancer for October 2nd through 9th, 2017? All right. So it seems like... You might have been tell, telling this person, what was this? All right, what is this siren about? What is this siren about for? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. All right, so it seems like, I feel like once you left, the weight was lifted. The siren is about, like, I'm about to get done with this, you know? it's. I feel like you've been telling this person, I'm going to just say you've been telling this person, like, hey, you keep treating me like you don't want me. I'm going to go find somebody else that loves me, you know? And I feel like this person might have been downing the person that you are, like, basically saying, like, whoever you get is not going to be good enough. But you just, like, I don't care, you know? I just want to get away from you. That's what I'm feeling from those cards. And then when you finally left, they like, oh, my God, they about to go get, you know? You know how it gets. All right, cancer, cancer, cancer. All right, so it seems like you may be staying with friends right now, but I feel like these friends, um, they may be, like, just talking a little bit about you behind your back, but I feel like they're going to come to you with what they gather, you know? So if you find them talking crap about you, it's not because they, like, being mean to you is because they trying to come up with a solution to help you get out of this situation for good with this arrogant person or to make this person change for good like if you really love her or you really love him and you want to be with them you know change this is what you need to do to get this person to care about you all right yeah so yeah they know that this person doesn't want you. So, they, yeah, they. I feel like they're trying to help you out, help you learn things to make this person care, to bring them down to reality. And until you left, 
this person was just like, whatever. I feel like you wanting to call and wanting to talk. But it's like, don't do none of that. And I feel like this is what your friend's telling you to do. You know? They just be thinking up stuff all day. Could be friends, family members, or something. They just be coming up with plans all day. So, um... Basically, they're telling you stop doing stuff for this person. Stop giving them stuff. You know, you got to treat them like, I'm going to say, I don't want to say they treat you because it's not saying how they treat you here. It's just like, you need to just cut this person off. Don't treat them like they deserve something because they don't. Okay. Wow. This saying you shouldn't even go back. You should just um, go and keep going, you know? All right. But Cleo cards, what's going on for Jeez. So, I'm feeling like, for some of you, the issue was not just that this person wasn't treating you, that they didn't want you. They may have got someone out at work pregnant or just started a new relationship at, with someone that they work with or that you work with. All right, what's going on with the cancer, cancer, cancer for October 2nd through 9th, 2017? Cancer love rating, October 2nd through 9th, 2017. Cancer, 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 cancer. Yeah. Okay, so it seems like you're de dealing with a um, disorganized person. The person is it's not caring, not structured, you know, just doing stuff just to do it. Mm. Wow, it seems like um, you've been waiting for this person to change. Yep, after Jesus. It seems like some of you guys might have moved out right after a trip. Yeah. Or maybe somebody is trying to move out to a trip and then they trying to move in with you. But I feel like it's gonna be some kind of turn down. Yeah, but somebody I don't know, I'm seeing somebody going off on a trip and trying to come back and leave live with you or move out. All right. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I feel like some of you guys are waiting. Some of you guys are pregnant. Some of you guys, this is a new relationship, and some of you guys are, um... Yeah, some of you guys might be waiting for a new beginning in this situation, okay? Ooh, but these secrets are coming out. Hold up. All major arcana, so this is a, a lesson for you, okay? All right, so first we have the Emperor reversed. Emperor. Generosity and manipulation. So, okay, so I feel like you may have been doing this to get the person back. I feel like this is this present card, and your friend's like, man, cut that out. Don't get that person nothing, you know? Like, you you trying to give them stuff to make them come back, but it ain't going to work like that. You know, they, they coming up with the plan. Listen to your friends, okay? All right, at least in this case. All right. All right, the hangman is upright. It says, a time of change. Remove yourself from a situation and watch. You will see the answer. You may not know what to choose. Allow yourself time to make the decision. Determine if the situation is positive or negative. This is like, is it really worth it? Because after this plan that they put out, it's going to work. But it's like, is it worth starting a new beginning with this person, you know? So we got the Empress. We got the Emperor and their Empress. And mm -hmm, they just not together because this high priest is in there all right so we got the empress and it's upright it says a time that you may doubt yourself in circumstances however new and exciting times are approaching a time of love sensuality pregnancy might be indicated so i feel like if you do go back to this person it's gonna be a honeymoon stage but it's still gonna just go back to the regular old everything you know, people don't change on these situations. It might take some time, but they're going to go right back to who they were. You know, so it's like love them for who they are. Or 
If you can't take it, don't take it. All right, so we got the High Priestess. It's passionate feelings and van vanity. Oh, man. That's going to be your downfall here. Because it's like, I really care about this person. I mean, it's just going to be... I don't know. Just have fun as long as it fun. it's fun. That's all I got to say. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you're on a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.